What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video we have some important updates for the jailbreak community. For those of you who want to know about iOS 14 jailbreak, iOS 13 and so on, but most importantly for those of you on 8.12 and 8.13. But before we get into that, you should know that App Valley is currently signed. They were signed a couple of hours ago and they are still signed. So if you want to get your jailbreaks or your plus plus applications, do it right now while they are signed. And I'm talking about the free version here. So if you want to get your jailbreaks without a computer, Computer, it's the time right now app-valley.vip so as you probably know the uncovered team the developers behind the uncovered jailbreak have released a couple of updates for the substitute they released substitute 2.0.0 a couple of days ago however there were problems with the version 2.0.0 it was very very buggy and many many people said that this indeed broke their jailbreak now the substitute 2.0.0 the update they mentioned here was supposed to add iOS 14 support so 14.2 14.0 14.1, 14.0 and so on, all the way down to iOS 11. And it also supports iOS 14 on the A12, A13 and A14 devices. However, the update was extremely buggy. It was released back on January 7th. And of course, it required multiple updates to get it fixed. So those updates were pushed out. Back on January 16th, they pushed the last update, which is 2.0.6. So if you do have the substitute 2.0.0 or you were avoiding it because of the problems, it's now been updated to version 2.0.6 but the versions below it like 2.0.5 2.0.4 2.0.2 and so on also do fix a lot of problems like crashes and you know various hangs and stuff like that so as you can see 2.0.1 fixes a bug in the substrate compatibility layer and so on so there were multiple bugs that were fixed so if you want to use the new substitute by the uncover you can but do not get 2.0.0 it's very very buggy and many people have destroyed their jailbreaks with it however However, the 2.0.6 should be safe and it should be updated to work fine. Now, this is indeed supported for the Uncover. However, the Uncover jailbreak doesn't support the iOS 14 at the moment. We don't know if this was done in preparation for updating the Uncover for iOS 14, but they say here that this can also be used with Checkrain jailbreaks. So possibly they did the iOS 14 part at first for Checkrain and then when they update the Uncover, it will support Uncover too. Because as you can see here, they say that they do add ARM64 64E support for iOS 14, but the check rain doesn't support ARM 64E. Those devices are basically the A12, A13, A14, which are not supported by check rain. So they did indeed update the substitute for Uncover as well, possibly in preparation for iOS 14 jailbreak in the future, but there is no release date or exploit available for the moment, at least not publicly available. So we don't know for now. The next important thing that has been released is Snoo Spy. It's basically a tool that was created to hook into the iOS kernel functions from the user space. This is not exactly very useful for you as a user, but rather for the developers that create your jailbreaks or your tweaks and stuff like that. Justin Shearman posted, quote, new spy, hook iOS kernel functions from the user land. Definitely the coolest thing I've worked on in my entire life. Support 16K devices from iOS 13 to iOS 14.x. So this is open source, was released on GitHub, and it's a very great tool. Seems to be a Pango OS module, which basically requires check rain, but this allows you to do a lot of research on the iOS kernel, which can be transposed, of course, for the A12 and A13 devices once you find something important, because the kernel itself doesn't change a lot from the A12 devices to A11 and so on. There are indeed changes, but it's very likely that if you find a bug, a very serious jailbreak bug that would allow you to jailbreak on the A11, you would probably be able to find it on the A12 as well, although with some modifications. So what this tool does is to provide a very good utility for jailbreak developers and of course for the reverse engineers to find bugs and test various things and so on. So if you want to check it out, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, definitely check it out. It's available on on GitHub as Snoo Spy. XNU is basically the kernel on iOS. Chimera was also updated. The Chimera jailbreak is created by Coolstar and it's a jailbreak for iOS 12 all the way up to 12.5.1, which was released recently. The update that was released is version 1.6.1, was released a couple of days ago, like two days ago, but it's not exactly a very important update because not many people are on iOS 12. However, if you still have an iOS 12 device, you should know that there is now an update available for the Chimera. The update brings user space reboot, which is now fully 
successfully completed and reliable. The user space reboot is now enabled by default and runs during the jailbreak process instead of LD restart. And it officially is validated for 12.5.1, which is indeed the latest version released a couple of days ago. I have no idea why Apple still pushes iOS 12 updates for the iPhone 6 and stuff like that, but they still do from time to time. And this jailbreak works with the latest version. So if you are a Chimera user, definitely get the latest version. But yeah, the most important thing is that the substitute, which is supposed to work with iOS 14 and it will power uncover on iOS 14 in the future, has finally been updated and they seem to have fixed a lot of the problems. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.